Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel is Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna do our daily technical analysis update of gold and silver. Uh, let's take a look, this will be the first time I'm looking at it. Uh, I've been moving a lot of stuff at work, so uh, let's see Let's see what we got and, and we'll see We'll see where this stuff's going. So let's jump in here, I'll give you my financial opinion, please don't use it as advice. Uh, we're looking at the dollar right now. Uh, the dollar is tracking slightly higher, it does have a little bit of resistance coming in with that wick at the top. Um, sometimes when you get these wicks at the top, they like to turn uh, and head lower. Uh, so I'm looking for a lower dollar eventually. I can't tell you if this is gonna be, if this is just gonna continue to go higher or if it's gonna break here. But uh, eventually, whenever that is, I think the dollar will head lower. Um, looking at this pattern here, I do think it has a good chance to go lower, but I don't know if we're gonna break through this resistance line. We've got three kind of big down days. We got reversal with the candlesticks at the bottom here, it came back up, and it took one, two, three, and all these times we're hitting some selling pressure in here and put a little wick at the top. So I think this is gonna pull back in the very short term. I just don't know if we're gonna break this uh, lar longer term trend line right off the bat. The 10 year yield moving a little bit lower. Uh, it's putting in a hammer candlestick pattern. Uh, to me, this looks like it's gonna go bottom here and probably turn back up. Yeah, it's gonna be positive for energy investments. I also think it's gonna be positive for uh, precious metals. Um, gold today is looking quite good. Uh, the reason I like it here, big buying pressure, small selling pressure, big buying pressure, small selling pressure with a bullish engulfing uh, happening today. We are gonna break to the upside, in my opinion, uh, looking at this chart, very bullish. Um, this right here in this block is exactly what I wanna see for a move going up. That looks extremely bullish to me. Um, you guys should be loaded into your companies. You should have your positions in there. Uh, and I would be cost averaging in if you wanted to buy more in gold and silver. I would be doing it now. Uh, silver's looking really good. I like this hammer pattern with the wick at the bottom coming below the, the, the trend line channel, the, the downtrend line. Uh, looking at this, we're, we've broken to the upside. We did a retest today. Uh, and I think we're going to be heading higher. Uh, it looks really good. Big buying pressure, small selling pressure, and we've got the wick at the bottom, which, which is a hammer pattern to move on up. Looks great. Uh, platinum, same thing. Big buying pressure, small selling pressure. Uh, I would be looking for a move higher out of platinum. So I, I am a bull on all of these metals at this time. Uh, Corora Resources, this is a, a company, a gold company. Again, it's, it's starting to get some buying pressure and some small selling pressure, wick at the bottom. Uh, I think it looks good. EXK, uh, I would take advantage of where it is down here and I would be a buyer. Uh, it's a hammer hammer candlestick pattern. We came back down. I think this is gonna be maybe the last time we, we test this, this bottom portion. I think we're gonna head higher here. So that one looks good. SILJ, hammer candlestick pattern. We're heading higher in my opinion. I would be a buyer down here. Uh, GDX, uh, I'm more than likely I'm willing to bet we have a hammer pattern. There's the hammer pattern. Big move up, small pullback. Big move up, hammer pattern, momentum's coming back to the upside. I would be a buyer here. Uh, that's that's my opinion. Hammer hammer candlestick patterns everywhere, guys. I would be um, looking at purchasing MMNGF with small amounts in a silver exploration company. Uh, Koya Silver has broken to the upside. This is the first kind of pullback with a little wick at the bottom. Uh, again, I would be a buyer of it. Uh, I think it looks good. Discovery Silver, this one's breaking down a little bit. Kind of a, a large sell-off day. We'll see if this thing turns around. Um, but I'd, I kind of hold off on it at the moment. I'd like to see some buying pressure. The rest of the sector looks really good, though. AG looks good. Nice big hammer pattern today. Uh, I would suspect that the momentum's going up. I'd look for a move higher. Newmont, uh, hammer candlestick pattern. I, I like that pattern, guys. It looks good. Mag Silver, another ham uh, hammer candlestick with the support below it. Uh, I am a buyer of, of any of these. Um, AUY is doing a retest of this big kind of breakout. It broke out, came back, and I think we're going to head higher here. Uh, this is a, another hammer candlestick pattern. This is a bullish can, candlestick pattern. What happens is it opened here, it traded down throughout the day, and then buyers came up and bought it all the way back up to the top. The momentum's coming up. Uh, it's a reversal candlestick. I think we're going up of this short-term reversal candlestick pattern. Impact Silver, if you guys like it, it's a small silver producer. I would be a buyer down here. Um, 
AAG, A, AAGFF, which is Aftermath Silver, just chopping sideways. It's still looking pretty good. Uh, Arcana Silver, a little bit of a bullish piercing pattern. Uh, usually that's a, a, a signal to move on higher. Uh, hopefully it, it gets that. This has got a lot of momentum behind it, so we'll see what happens. There's not a lot of buying pressure I see yet. PLG just tracking sideways. It's doing another retest here with a hammer pattern. I would be a buyer down here. Sandstorm Gold, hammer can't, you know, got, it's got that hammer uh, candlestick pattern. Big three up, small pullback, big huge up, three day pullback with a hammer candlestick. I think we're going higher. Uh, FNV, Franco Nevada, another royalty company. Uh, it's got a, a wide diverse of royalties in this. Uh, it's a larger royalty company. Uh, I would be a, uh, probably a buyer down here. There's still some selling pressure in here, but I think the entire sector is going to turn around here at any point. Uh, it's looking quite good. EMX, I would be a buyer here. Uh, Teuton Resources, uh, this one's got a little bit more selling pressure. I wait to see if this thing turns around. Got a little bit more volume on that selling. Uh, Wheat and Precious Metals, more of a, it's kind of a ham hammer candlestick. I'd like to see it close a little bit higher than that. Uh, but I bet you this is going to head higher as well. Uh, Gold Royalty, hammer candlestick pattern, looking good. Uh, MTA, another hammer, hammer candlestick pattern. Hopefully we can start our way higher here. Um, one thing, well, yeah. MMX, this is Mavericks Metals, another hammer candlestick pattern. That's a reversal short-term candlestick pattern to head higher. Royal Gold at its support line coming down, breakout, back to support, and then we hopefully go higher. And then we've got uh, a Cisco Gold Royalty, another royalty company. It's at the bottom. I would be probably a buyer here. Uh, and you're, see, you're, you're hearing me say a lot of being a buyer, 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 buyer. Um, what I'm seeing is the big candlesticks updates. We're getting these small pullbacks, and then we're getting a wick at the bottom, which is a hammer pattern. That's usually a reversal candlestick pattern. It's a good statistical probability to move on up. Uh, it looks like the 10-year yield's kind of bottoming here to move on up. We'll see how that impacts uh, gold and silver. I think what it's going to do, it's going to hurt it in the beginning, uh, which we've gone through, and then eventually people are going to start to rotate money into uh, precious metals. Uh, as inflation is persistent, uh, that inflation is being driven, in my opinion, by the housing starts. Uh, the volume of housing starts and those loans against it is an inflationary um, boom or expansion of credit. And these are all looking quite good for a short-term bottom. Now, just because we see a short-term bottom doesn't mean that this is going to be the time that it just automatically goes straight to the moon. Um, it could. Uh, I don't I don't have that 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 crystal ball, but I can tell you on the short term, I'd like it. And I'm looking to see if we can get a bounce here. Uh, I'd like to see some buying pressure come in. If the buying pressure comes in like it has the past few, you know, week or two, we, we should see a big up candlestick, big day in the in the next day or two. If we might have a small day tomorrow and then the buying pressure comes in, or the buying pressure comes in tomorrow uh, and we start to to rock it higher. Um, that's what I'm looking for. If you see a large sell-off, then something's wrong. Like, like something's like, what, what, what's going on here? Because we've got the bounce. Um, and I think that bounce will continue into tomorrow. Uh, and, and we head on up. So that's that's my take on it. We're at a lot of support resistance lines, you know, support lines, uh, which will support us uh, to the downside. So we've got good support on the downside, good momentum to the upside. Uh, I like it for the most part in a lot of these uh, companies as a buying point. If you guys like this this content, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.